In this video we shall take question number 27 of miscellaneous exercise of chapter 7, Integrals, of N, C, E, R, T Maths Textbook, Class 12. Hello friends, the question is like this. Evaluate the definite integrals. Cos square x, upon cos square x, plus, 4 sine square x dx from the limit 0 to pi by 2. Let us see that how we shall solve this question. I would like to tell you that question is tricky and a good question to be solved. Firstly I assume the definite integral as equal to i. To begin solving, I use the identity. Sine square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x, and write the denominator as cos square x, plus, 4 times 1 minus cos square x, while all the other terms written as it is. Further we can write the denominator as cos square x plus 4 minus 4 cos square x, while all the other terms written as it is. On simplifying the denominator we obtain, i as equal to cos square x, upon 4 minus 3 cos square x, dx from the limit 0 to pi by 2. Next, I multiply and divide the fraction by minus 3. Then I add 4 and subtract 4 from the numerator. This has been done so that we get a term in the numerator equal to the denominator. Now we assume 4 minus 3 cos square x, as one term and minus 4 as other term, Dividing the numerator with denominator we write the definite integral as minus 1 by 3 times the integral 1 dx from the limit 0 to pi by 2 plus 4 by 3 times the integral 1 upon 4 minus 3 cos square x dx from the limit 0 to pi by 2. We assume the first definite integral as i1 and the second one as i2. The definite integral i1 is easy. Also integration of 1 dx is equal to x. This gives i1 as minus 1 by 3 times x from 0 to pi by 2, which is equal to as minus 1 by 3 times pi by 2 minus 0, or equal to minus pi by 6. Next we take i2. And straight away we divide the numerator with denominator by cos square x. Since, 1 by cos x is equal to seconds x. So we have the value of i2 as 4 by 3 times integration of sec square x upon 4 seconds square x minus 3 dx. From 0 to pi by 2. Next we replacing sec square as 1 plus tan square x and all the terms as it is. On simplification this gives the value of i2 as. 4 by 3 times integration of sec square x upon 1 plus 4 tan square x dx from 0 to pi by 2. Further we can write 4 tan square x in the denominator as 2 tan x whole square. Further we substitute 2 tan x as equal to t. On differentiation of both sides with respect to x we get 2 seconds square x dx as equal to dt. The value of upper limit will change to 2 into tan pi by 2 or infinity. The value of lower limit will change to 2 into tan 0 or 0. This gives i2 as equal to 2 by 3 times integration of 1 upon 1 plus t squared dt from 0 to infinity. As integration of of 1 upon 1 plus t squared dt is equal to tan inverse of t so we have i2 as equal to 2 by 3 times tan inverse of t from 0 to infinity. This can be simplified as 2 by 3 times tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse 0. As tan inverse of infinity is equal to pi by 2 and tan inverse of 0 is 0, so we get 2 by 3 into pi by 2, or pi by 3. Therefore the value of i, which was equal to 
I1 plus I2 will be equal to minus pi by 6 plus pi by 3, or pi by 6, which is the required answer. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.